Hey everyone, happy Monday. Oh my God, I thought it was Tuesday. Um, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. I decided to do another video outside. I am absolutely loving it. A part of me wants to take out this um, umbrella here so I can make more room for myself. Um, but if I move the camera, let's just kind of align the camera. Okay, hopefully, hopefully it's a little bit clear. Um, so I tried to gather everything that I think or that I thought I needed. Um, I just got home from work. I work um, eight to one. I just cut back my hours. I was previously working full time eight to four, um, but now I have the uh, opportunity to work part time, which is eight to one. And although there is a um, a pay cut, it's definitely <laughs> mentally um, I love it. So I do have a couple new notepads added to the website. So I'll go ahead and uh, take some pictures and post them to my website. And I also have my little sticky notes that I use. These are for sinking funds and cash envelopes. It's just kind of like how I like to keep track of them. Um, obviously it's not needed. It's just very aesthetic. You know, I just like to have it uh, listed out um, in my planner. So I'm gonna actually write with a pen on these to show you. Um, so this is the budget book that I currently use. Uh, again, here, let me try to get situated because I am all over the place. Um, you guys know that this is um, the budget book papers by Jessica. And um, I have been using this since the beginning of the year. We are in the month of June and I am making progress. Um, I really love the book. I know that she came out with a new um, a new updated version that has a new week and I am pretty anxious to use that one so hopefully I will be able to get a hold of one of her budget books that have the new week in it but I will show you what I currently have it's okay if you do have the old one because I still am using the old one anyways so let's see we have we are in June um, and so what I like to do is, you guys know me, I like to, oops, I like to write all of my bills out. I list out when I get paid. So I got paid here and I paid the bills. So fortunately I had to pay these two bills and I need to pay these. So I'm just going to go ahead and check, check that off. Okay. Hey, there's a, sorry. So I'm going to pay this one. Target is, I believe, zero. Yay! And wait now, let's just, let me just go back. So, as you guys know, I like to list out all of my bills. So I have all my bills, and this is when I got paid. So I'm going to pay all the bills from here until my next pay. Ooh, that's, ooh, ooh, ooh. Not too bad. <laughs> it's not too bad. Um, this is one of the reasons why I like to have a rollover in my checking account, because um, now that my pay... Um, is cut a little bit um, I always like to have a buffer some people don't do that um, and like I said it's it's preference that's definitely a personal preference um, for each person I don't know I just feel I feel for me um, I'd rather have money in my checking account so I don't go negative or I don't know have something come out that I, I forgot uh, maybe there's an emergency, so I don't know. I just like to have that um, sanity um, to know that I have money in my checking account. So when I get paid, I keep adding, I keep paying the bills, I keep adding, and then I always set money aside if I need to save money uh, towards different sinking funds or things like that. Um, so this is the budget book, Papers by Jessica. You can use my code. I will include it um, in the description. Um, after that, she has, this is the weekly view, and this is what I've been using. We are on, what is it, the second week? So this was Sunday, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill this out real quick. Uh, Sunday, I, um, I went to Joanne's. I went and got groceries. I finished the laundry. Vacuumed. I worked on orders, and I also did a YouTube video. So all of these are done. I like to write um, every day, like 
every day like for instance today is Monday so this was last week um, and then I have some of the things that I had to, to do um, and we can highlight it as well um, and I'm working on that so no, I didn't really complete everything but I'm working on it and that's the most important thing I did get everything that I needed yesterday when I went to the grocery store. All right, so this is the weekly overview. Let me just kind of move this like this. Um, so this is the her weekly overview. I'm, I'm kind of torn. So today is the... This is Juneteenth and I'm off. Here is Father's Day. So um, I listed out everything, listed out the paydays, listed out the bills, and I have my week set up. So I am all set. I'm just going to close this. Is this. I went to the bank today to the bank and I took money out. So we're going to go ahead and fill some stuff. This this um, planner is where I keep all of my cash envelopes and I showed you guys this yesterday in a video. I have groceries. I spent $120 yesterday so I have $54 left. Okay, I'm just going to go over this very quickly since I'm outside. Household, I didn't end up using, so I still have the 60. I just kind of just, I really didn't buy everything that I needed yesterday, and I didn't want to go to multiple stores, um, so just like, I just got a couple things, so it wasn't worth me really using this, because I didn't go to different stores. So I did spend 120, I do have $54 left. Household is 60, gas is zero. Eating out, I have 80. Beauty, I have, 100 which is no I have this was wrong remember let's just update this we're gonna do I'm gonna do a 612 balance because I don't remember what I used last time so the balance is 60 so what we're gonna do is add the difference just want to put this in the back so 60 for beauty BJ's has a 100 and the yarn has 117. I actually used the sinking funds from yesterday for that. All right, so what we're going to do now is, oh my God, the 52 week. So the 52 week, we are at the week 24. So let's just see how much we have here, which is 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, and we need to add another $24. So just like $250. Here. Just like $250 here. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little like my neighbor's watching. So it's kind of like um, it's kind of like awkward. So bear with me, guys. Um, So I have $300, okay, and now we need to put the $300 in the spot. So I have 54 left. Okay, so here's, um, all right, so what I do is bi-weekly is not going to be next week, so I'm not going to get paid next week. So let's take, also need to show you something else, we're going to take 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. We're going to put it in groceries. So groceries is going to have 154. Thanks. Today is, let's just do balance plus 100. I have 154. Okay, I have 154 for this one. 
the second. Household is fine because we have 60. Gas, we're going to take. I don't get paid this um, Friday, but I get paid the following. I'm going to put $100. 20, 40, 60. If I get paid, this is for 80. It's usually about 70, 80. I already have a full tank. It'll last me like the week. And then I'll use 60, 70. So here's $70. Sorry about that, kind of got like stage fright. I'm not used to doing it in front of people. <laughs> I know. So gas is 70, and then eating out is 80. And beauty, we have 60. I'm gonna add 40. There's a hundred dollars now, so let's add 40. Okay. There's a hundred dollars in beauty. All I really need to do is get my hair trimmed and get my nails redone. Um, so I probably it's fine. BJ's is 100, yarn is 117, and then we need to find out how much we need to add. So let's go back. I wasn't really sure how much I needed to take out. So we have literally, <laughs> we have 20, 40, so oh my god, I have a whole hundred left. Seriously? Oh my god, help me, Lord. Um, I took 300 out, so I'm going to put, um, I'm gonna, pretty confident it's gonna be for here. I'll add this after. I'll find out what week we are. So I put 40 in here. This is the 52 week challenge. And um, again, I'm like really rushing just because I'm outside and eyes are all over me. Household, I think we're good at 60. What did I say? Oh yeah, 150, 60. 60, eating out is 80, beauty is 100, we're going to add, now the thing is, is that you can borrow from your, you can borrow from your, um, oh, this is wrong, I only had 40, okay, good, see, I was right, so I, technically, um, the, technically, this was wrong, so I must have used it, I only had $47, so I'm going to put another 60 so that's going to be 107 dollars okay so that's what's accurate okay good we're just gonna put 107 okay there's a lot of times where i might buy stuff that um i didn't plan on or like i need stuff for like from amazon or i go to michael's or joanne's so these are all full Next thing I like to do is, I kind of like to just write this out. So that's why I always, you know, stress to people that, you know, it's really important for you to put money aside. It may not be the same. It may not be as much, but you just want to take a look at what you have for finances, what your family lifestyle is. Um, look at some of the areas where you need, where you might find that you can cut back, you know, because everyone's family dynamics are different and we're not we can't compare we are all completely different even in our income so don't get frustrated just start out slow and that's what i always tell people just start out slow 
and um, you'll you'll get there. So the second thing I want to show you is the sinking funds, which I'm not sure it's going to allow me to show you because it's bright outside. So um, give me one minute. This is what I use for my sinking funds, which is the jelly app, and I've shared this with you, so I'm just kind of showing you. Um, these are the these are some of the sinking funds that I decided to use. I always because I have groceries and miscellaneous because sometimes I might not have my cash envelopes on me all the time when I figure out I need to get something. Bye. And um, sorry, there's like a bunch of bees. Um, and so. I have clothing and I have different categories um, so this is a legit debit card and you're able to create different jars and you just put the money where you want it to go so I do have BJ's I have a bedroom redo because I want to buy comforter and uh, curtains and things like that to get a few pieces Christmas is 2500 clothing like I said groceries uh, planner stuff vacation so just some of the different areas ultimately this is the total on the car at the end of the day but this is supposed to help you budget for different categories and that is the that is your ultimate goal is to budget so let's say you had that money on there you would go to the grocery store and just I'm sorry go to the mall and just you would spend money aimlessly so that's why it's important to have your budget uh, just to stay on track of certain things so let's go ahead and let's fill this one out all right let's just slap this oh, wow everything is like literally falling okay so for this one we have BJ's We have bedroom, bedroom redo, we have yarn or business, anything that has to do with that, Christmas, Christmas is $23.95, clothing, $6.37, and then we have groceries slash miscellaneous three seventy five. And believe me, I have been saving over time. I have been saving for a long time. Actually, I started um, using this in twenty twenty one, or I'm sorry, the end of twenty twenty, and uh, I started off with like one hundred dollars. I remember. I can even show you a picture. That's when I first started. All right, fourteen twenty-eight, and then I just, I just kept on, I kept on using it and using it and transferring money. Um, and the way that I transfer money is through PayPal. So you are going to link your account. You're going to link your card to your PayPal. It, with your PayPal account, you also have your regular debit or like your checking account, and so you list it. So when you want to transfer money, you just click PayPal transfer, pick the card, and you transfer money. It's really easy. All right, so this is the balance um, for that. So let's just move this over here. Okay. So now I have everything all set. These are the cash envelopes. I have my cash right here. I have my sinking funds right here. If I wanted to go shopping, I have everything that I need as far as how much and what I need and what I have. If I want to borrow from a different one, maybe I don't have enough. Um, for uh, groceries, I can I can say, you know what, I'm going to use BJ's and I can borrow. I can just take the money and not use it, you know what I mean? So you can use from other um, cash envelopes. Um, and so down here, sinking funds, this is what I use for the card. Like I said, sometimes I may not have my cash envelopes with me, so this is a great way to use so I don't get out of, like, out of line, out of, <laughs> over budget. So. All right, so that's what I did. So I got paid last week. Um, once I'm done with the video, I'll go upstairs. I already paid two of the bills, so I still have about four, four, four or five more to do. I do have quite a few credit cards that I actually paid off. So um, yay, yay. Um, but in the meantime, um, I have everything listed. I have my cash here. Everything's written down. 
and oh, it broke. Everything is written down, so I am all set. I'm just gonna put this stuff away and this, and let's take a look at these. Everyone likes a good, um, that's why, okay, wait, let's back it up real quick, sorry. Um, when it comes to the sinking funds, that the reason why I don't use cash envelopes is be for the sinking funds is because um, I get direct deposit and I don't want to go to the bank to take money out just to leave an envelope in my house. So before I used the Jelly app, I was using my credit union, which I had like 10 accounts. And then I decided to just separate the two. All of my sinking funds go in this um, just because it's easier. Um, and I don't have to take money out to put it in an envelope. Like I said, it's all it all boils down to personal preference. So let's say I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna use this as something like working. So these are some of the things I'm gonna do. I'm going to package. I have an A6 in the purple, A6 in the pink. This one needs a bow. And Monday, I'm just going to put um, YouTube budget video. And these are some of the things that I'm going to do regarding um, my website or work or Instagram. I'm just going to list out for this week the, um, the pouches that I have to get done. So this is a cute little handy. It's not a sticky note. It's just, these are just pads. Um, so I'm definitely going to take a picture and update it. So let's say for Tuesday, we will say post um, But other than that, I hope that makes sense. I just wanted to keep it very sweet short and sweet I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Bye. As you guys know, I was having a hard time uh, being outside I had just eyes watching me and I just totally lost um, you know, my train of thought and I just could not think. It got really humid and I started to get like complete anxiety. So I apologize for forgetting, but let's just jump right into it. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do it when you're using the A5 rings. All right. So we talked about this yesterday and I showed you the different inserts, um, that I would use. I am using, I have it in here. Um, so we're going to go ahead with, you're going to list out all of your bills and you're going to see what bills need to be paid from when you get paid until your next paycheck, right? So those are the bills you're going to pay. You can also use the finance overview. These are from 8Lotus. Again, my coupon code is Chris8. And I'm going to show you. Um, so what I would do, I wish I had this much income. So this has income and you have it listed here. Then you have expenses. So what I would do is um, I would do like paycheck. Well, I guess this is a good thing because you have paycheck. For me, I would put like maybe PayPal balance. But for my paycheck, I received take home was literally about a thousand bucks and I usually get a lot more than that but we already know that's okay PayPal balance uh, I'm gonna say it was like 250 and then um, my balance my balance in my checking account was like 700 bucks So that is nineteen fifty. So that's the total. So that's what I'm gonna make sure that this is okay. So, um, so we have nineteen fifty, right? That's my paycheck, um, PayPal balance, and you don't have to include the PayPal balance if you don't want, but roughly it's about nineteen fifty. Then for expenses, I'm going to list out the bills that I'm going to be paying, and then that is right here. And 
do 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 do. So I already did this this this. I have to do Sword, Target, Wayfair. Pretty sure Target is zero. But I'm gonna double check. I'm pretty sure the balance is zero. And then I have Wayfair. I wanna pay one hundred. Internet, electric, uh, the next pay is the 23rd, so we're going to do credit one, and Merrick, and that, I'm pretty sure this is zero as well, but I'm going to list it out, so I have Wayfair, Continental, Internet, oh, yeah, Internet Electric, Credit One, Bed Bath, Banana, Capital One is Zero, Merrick, uh, Bank Loan, oh shoot, I have to pay that too. Wow, pretty tight. The only thing when I get paid here is care credit and the loft and my car insurance. So, so this is what I would do. And then for internet, I usually pay 75. Electric is 100. Um, I do 50, 100, pretty sure zero, and 220. <laughs> I'm kind of crooked. Um, so, uh, then what we're going to do is we would add the total, okay? And of course, let's see what the total is. Two, three, four, five, six, seventy, eight, seventy-five. I think it's off. Oh, I did it wrong. Two, three, four, five. 675. Great. I put 875. Um, we'll just leave it at that to give an example. So I can just make sure I have the right amount. Okay. And then you're going to flip it over. Um, so of course I don't have my calendar. I'm my calculator. I'm sorry. Uh, so what I would do is honestly, I would get my calculator and, um, I would have the total here. Then I would minus the bills whatever balance I have left the first I want to make sure that I have a buffer in my checking account but I also want to save something towards um uh something like my sinking funds if I can afford it right so I would do I'm gonna do second savings I think that my sinking funds um, I think some of the different categories that I have are fine. I think, you know, I'm slowly adding money for the, um, the bedroom redo. So I want to slowly do things. I don't want to have zero dollars in my checking account. So I would probably put like a, a $100. Um, and then we have, every, I took money. Uh, we have everything for the cash envelopes. So this is how I would do it. I, I know that I'm rushing, but I'm just trying to finish the video that I felt like I couldn't do. So this is one of the ways that you can um, pay your bills by using uh, the ring, uh, your ring planner. And you can just do literally everything here. You can list out your order tracker. You can list out your, your savings. You can list out your, you know, Everything can be right here in your rings and it's really, really easy to do. So that's one way. The second is let's go back over here and finish. So I'm trying to utilize both ways um, just for my followers uh, purposes, you know, stuff like that, just to help and to show people that you can do it both ways. 
um, you can use, you can write in both. You know, this could be your main planner and then you, you have everything written. You can use this as your main planner as far as like finances. And that's kind of what I wanted to do just because I don't, you know, having things all over can be distracting, but, um, I think that, okay. So I'm going to put, uh, June 10th. And so, um, jeez, oh, paycheck. And it was like $1,000. Then I'm gonna write balance. It's about 700. And then I have PayPal. And so you just want to kind of just list things out and break it down, break down your money, list out your um, fixed fix expenses. And we said it was going to be um, I'm like way off. Wayfair, my goodness, I need to get rid of this. It's haunting me. Um, electric, internet, and then we can list the amounts. And then your variable, this here is where, um, this is the <sighs> cash envelopes. We literally have the totals right here, so we don't have to waste a lot of time. Oops. Event. Just gonna stick this like this, okay? Just because of time. And then we'll just put the other one right here. So uh, your variable expenses, that's your cash envelopes. And like I always tell people to start off with one or two or one to three at a time to get used to it. You know, like your main ones, groceries, eating out, gas, stuff like that. These are all of the bills. And then the sinking funds um, would be the savings. Um, it's probably underneath and then you have debt and this is debt. So, uh, this is what I would write out and everything's just listed out right here. So, um, I will update everyone to share with you what my balance is in my checking account. Um, because I'm going to go ahead and pay the bills, see what I have left and I'll leave that there. And then I can follow up and share with you guys what I had left. But ultimately, this is these are the two ways that you can actually pay um, your bills using the paycheck to paycheck method. Thank you so much for watching. Please chime in, say hello. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. Bye.